this is why I'm like super. No, you don't have the skill just because you buy bread. Yeah. No. <laughs> but I get the best bread, Dell. I don't know what you mean. Ooh. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if it's like got what what seeded brown tiger bread. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I don't care. It's like, and then you find out it's for someone with with um what. Celiac. Right. You're buying it from Celiac. Yeah, excellent. And you just Good bought a year's supply. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Great deal. It's all right. Well, and, and the funny thing is as well is that, you know, within our business, because I've always sat in the sales seat, I'm going to be the person who goes out and does purchasing because I'm, you know, versed in negotiating, let's say. But also, I was talking to someone yesterday, um, and they were saying how, and it's so, so true, like salespeople are the best people to just get caught up, fall in love with something and be like, this is the best thing ever, we have to have it. So essentially, we're the best people to be sold to, because if someone can get through to us and get past our like judgmental, like, I want to I want to make a saving, they make me feel like I'm making a saving and I need it. I'm like, sweet, I know it's three times more expensive than the next person, but I love it. Which is such a dangerous concept, right? Yeah. Jay, it's not just about price. It's not about cost saving no. either. It's a, it's about term, right? Mm -hmm. So, so if you think I can't afford to pay you in this way, I can pay you this way. It's better for your company. Sure. If you know, there's there's a lot more to it than just cost savings. Mm. Cost savings is just one aspect of it. What? Sometimes you have to pay more to get a to get a better return. Uh, yeah, it, because it makes absolute and, and, and you're looking at the total cost of ownership mm. rather than a short term. Wow, this is really expensive. But you're not you're looking at it from now. You're not looking at it for like the next five years, which is why it's probably a great idea to separate stakeholder from procurement, because stakeholder is like, I want this new shiny thing. It makes so much sense for me. This is brilliant. Whereas procurement get to take that kind of third, you know, second pair of eyes, see the wood for the trees and be like, well, don't need it, need it, do you? Like you just kind of want it, you know. <laughs> you know, procurement don't have that say. Procurement, are, they don't have that say to say you can't have it because if my, if, if your stakeholder wants it, then you have to work with them mm. as to why. And the reason they're doing it is because up above them said you need to be working on this project. I see. And, this is what I need. and so they literally should be holding hands and saying, right, let's both work on this together, and let's let's get my mate. Who knows a bit about purchasing <laughs> and you know about wanting it so let's work together mm. it's, it works now what, what i really what i really liked about what you're saying about linkedin earlier is that I love talking to people who are in the boring industries, quote unquote, right? Uh, and I say that as uh, I used to be, because I used to work in IT and, and it was IT security and everything was really boring. And every time someone, someone tried to make it like super sexy, it was ridiculous um, and it didn't make sense. But I love speak, speaking to people who are excelling in those industries because there's one common thing which happens and you're yourself. And like looking through your marketing, you get great engagement. You get great, but you know, on on LinkedIn, it is businessy, but you're also clearly being yourself. Um, was that when you came into the business? Was that something that they were championing, or is that something that you over time have said, "Hey, I, this is going to work, and we're going to do this"? Well, when I first started, we didn't even have a LinkedIn um, presence at all. So I came in and I thought, "Oh gosh, let's just throw something there without even checking it." Sure. And it's only through time, really. And I just thought. You know, you've got to be specific, but you've got to be honest. You've got to see who you are. You can't, there's no hiding because if you hide, it makes people not trust you. And I don't think you should go into any relationship making people think, you know, that you've got, you're hiding something. 100%. Be yourself, be open, have a laugh, show them your personality because this is you, this is your identity, this is, who, this is your brand, this mm. is who you are. And, you know, the guys don't like being on, on social media at all. And it's, just, so hard to just like it's not that scary but when you first start it is scary because you just don't know what works and you don't you know you just you're just trying but the more you try and i try and, you, and i tell people try every day mm. then mm. even if it means commenting on other people's posts even if it means supporting your industry because i'm i'm a big i love anybody in procurement i'm like go you guys you know let's make people think that we are not boring because <laughs> It is such a boring subject matter. Everyone goes, I'm asleep. Sorry, did you say something? And we don't want to be like that. We want to be, let's let's support each other and let's build our industry and 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 start posting and, and make it interesting for God's sake. It's it's just it's not fun. It's like, you know, 
I just have to say procurement and people are like, I'm gone. See ya. <laughs> but the, the yeah. thing is, is why is it those industries that are the most pertinent, the most important? Like literally, if you don't talk about certain things, your business isn't a business. I'm talking accountancy. I'm talking procurement. I'm talking sales to a degree as well because it's a boring subject full of rah, 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 rah that salespeople seem to like and everyone else is like, that's for them. Um, but, you know, why is it that those quote unquote, like, you know, what it doesn't have to be boring because talking to you, like, I'm, uh, my mind's firing. I'm, this, this is absolutely true. This is such an important part of the business. You don't have that back door open if you're going to throw all the money in the front door, right? But, if you come at accountancy, if you come at procurement, if you come at legal, or if you come at it from the very kind of, you know, boring standpoint to be like, we've currently saved 4.2% over this quarter and you could do too. I don't care. But it, but I, and also I can get that information by Googling, right? And just finding an article and reading it. And that will have as much personality as what I just did. But I don't work with Google blogs. <laughs> <laughs> I work with people, yeah, who does? right? You know, but, but I work with people and I can, and I know that there are, you know, throw, there's a hundred people who in the UK, I'm guessing, right. Who do the same service, hundred businesses who do the same services you could sell. So I've got the option to work with everyone. Why not be yourselves? So I know who I'm going to work with and be like, yeah, I like that. Hey, how you doing? So you said the guys have, you know, they're, 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 they're like an awful lot of the people we speak to don't want to be on social. How do you help curtail that into a place where as the marketing director, you get the content from the subject matter experts within the business? Well, I did the course. So everybody thinks I'm the expert. And I'm not, <laughs> but I did the course. So it, it shows that anybody can sound like they know what they're talking about. And, and, I, and I can. And so anything I'm not certain about, I go to the guys. So, but they're, they're, I, I will say to them, so this is how I'm going to reply. And they're like, why are you asking us? You know what you're doing. But when I first started, I didn't, mm. I didn't know anything. I'm like, I'm like everybody else. I, I had no clue. So I think, I think it helps a lot that you, if you're going to talk about subject matter, you better, you better either learn about it and spend a lot of time learning about it, or you better have people who are in your business who can talk about it. And I have this. It's kind of one or the other, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm really, I have to say, I've been really, really lucky. But, you know, I have to say, I'm going to be stepping a little bit back on this. Um, I've got them where they where they need to be because mm. I want to focus more on, on e-commerce now. Because I've, to be honest, I've given this three years of my life. And I want to, you remember where I said I kind of do a period of time and then I put it on the back burner. It doesn't mean I'm going away from it totally. Sure. I just want to bring in something else because obviously my life is boring and I need to bring in something exciting and it's time for a change. So, yeah. I, I, so I'm, I've I, given them the tools that they need. I've given them enough information and I'm always here for them, but sitting at the sitting at the back a little bit more now. Well, and I love that because, I mean, that's that's very much my mentality of like I, 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 I fall for something. Like I fall down the rabbit hole. I fall in love with it. I fall head over heels. I don't know, whatever way you want to say that I fall. When I fall into something, that's my thing. And it can be as trivial as like we need a new tea towel. And I'll spend weeks looking at every tea towel that is on the, you know, the earth or, you know, it's, it's literally can be that small or like a new car. And I'll spend a year being like, nah, and it will be, you know, every conversation I have, but I like, I like to do those kind of I'm tea towel and cars, but in business, I like to do that. Um, you know, periodically where we kick something off, we get it running. It's my entire world and that is going and I want to push it down the hill and see its momentum. And while I get fully involved into kind of getting something else in a position to push it off. So I know exactly, exactly where you're at. However, it's also can be a fast route to kind of burnout because are you really able to step away from all the things or are you only 25% stepping back from everything? And now you're 75%. <laughs> 75, 75, 75. So uh, how do you manage to spin this many plates and juggle this many balls while being a mum uh, and, and a wife at home as well? Uh, you know, uh, how, do you, how do you balance it? Well, it helps that the, that the child is 14, okay. going on 25. Uh -huh. So yeah, that, she does her own thing. Um, <laughs> I, I think what I'm trying, you have to be quite disciplined. You've got to have, I allocate days in my week mm. and say, on these days, I'm going to work on this and this and this and this. And I, and, and I find it's really good use of my time rather than 
I mean, it's, to be fair, it's so easy to get bogged down in one area. You spend all day doing it. You're like, what have I done? Actually, I don't even know what I've done. I, I haven't really achieved much, but I've spent eight hours doing nothing. And I, I'm, I'm trying to stay, you know, to be fair, I'm 50 now. I, I A lot of time has passed. And yes, um, a lot of time has passed. So I've learned what works and what doesn't work. 